Hey, how's it going? Well, I guess I'm still a little bit sick. It's taking a while to get over this. My voice is still affected quite a bit. Um, especially after I take a nap of some sort, there's all the, the buildup of mucus and stuff, and it affects my voice a lot. So the, the voiceover that I did yesterday, they weren't, they weren't very satisfied with. They're like, well, let's wait a little bit until you're fully over this. So, okay. And as you can see, I'm using the mic, this same mic again. I kind of liked its results, and I had it, I had it hooked up, so I might as well use it, right? Anyway, in comment sections of my video regarding Trump, there are some people that were essentially asking the question. They not not always directly, and they they asked it in different ways, but they were essentially asking, "Well, what would Trump have to do for me to support him?" Well, if he wanted to downsize and decrease spending on the military instead of wanting to increase spending on it, that would help. If he wanted to stop gutting environmental regulations, that would help. If he actually admitted that climate change is happening, yeah, that would help. But, you know, environmental regula regulations, you know, uh, if he wanted people to have clean water, if he wasn't gutting those kind of regulations, if he wanted us to have clean air. Yeah, that would help too, you know. Environmental regulations. If he actually did something positive for the LGBT community in this country, yeah, that would help. I mean, yeah, he's done his virtue signaling, saying that he wants to decriminalize homosexuality in the Middle East and other countries where it's criminalized, and it's just like, well, that's just virtue signaling. How is, how is his opinion on that going to change anything? It's just virtue signaling. It's something to try to claim that he, he's supporting the LGBT community without actually having to do anything. I'm still in disbelief that a number of Trump supporters will use that as some sort of reason that, uh, oh, Trump supports the LGBT, and I'm just like, no, he doesn't. And Trump holding up a flag that says LGBT for Trump... Uh, doesn't mean anything either. It just means that he'll take support wherever he can get it. And a 20-year-old interview with Trump saying something positive about gay people, yeah, that, that doesn't help either. He actually has to do something to help the LGBT community. But as it stands, he's wanting to give religious people special rights to discriminate against LGBT. There's things like, you know, the First Amendment Defense Act that he promised he'd sign. Now, maybe he won't actually sign it. Maybe his promise didn't mean anything, but he certainly made a lot of promises to fundamentalist religious people. If he'd hire someone for the Department of Education who isn't interested in pushing for school vouchers, yeah, that would help. You know, school vouchers, where tax dollars can go to religious schools. Yeah, if he'd stop pandering to religious fundamentalists, yeah, that would help a lot too. If his budget proposals weren't gutting safety nets, Medicare, Social Security, yeah, that would help too. Doesn't matter if he virtue signals. I mean, he, he made some speech where he was saying, I will not touch Social Security. And then you look at his budget proposal and yeah, they're digging into Social Security significantly. And yeah, if he'd stop so many of his toxic MAGA culture tweets, yeah, that would help too. But he likes to... He likes pandering to those types of people. He loves pandering to his cultists. So yeah, you know, if he changed a number of things, yeah, then I could support him. But otherwise, no. Cruelty is the key with Trump, and many of his supporters eat it up. The most disgusting thing in MAGA culture is this notion that you're not a patriot if you don't support Trump, and you're not a patriot if you're not a Christian. Yeah, those things are messed up. You know, under God was added to the pledge in the 1950s. In God We Trust wasn't on any of our money until the late 1800s, and then it was added on the rest of our money in the, in the 1950s during McCarthyism. Being a God-fearing Christian doesn't make you patriotic, but that's what a lot of these people seem to think. But yeah, under Trump, the economy is doing well, but it's at a high cost. And to me, the cost isn't worth it. 